Glory be to God. Good evening. My name is Pastor Emmanuel from Christian Life Center in South Africa, Johannesburg, number nine, Jubilee in Captain Park. Uh, I have the privilege today to share the word of God. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. I greet uh, my spiritual parents, mom and dad. We thank God for your life. And then we glorify God for your, the grace upon your life in Jesus' name. I greet you all, all of our viewers, wherever you are, may the Lord bless you. Today, uh, as I, I started a series, some, uh, I think it's last month, some couple weeks have been gone ahead, and then... Uh, I was talking about the benefits of focusing on God. And today we are on chapter 9 of that series. Glory be to God. And in chapter 9, we're going to talk about safety and security on the way to heaven. Safety and security on the way to heaven. Why safety? Why security? When we go through the word of God, you see. Because what God gave to a mankind, we mess up with disobedience from the first people, Adam and Eve. It's in the book of Genesis. And men lost contact and the glory that God had been given unto him. And God in his faithfulness, he made the way for us to get us back in his kingdom through Jesus Christ. And then through the word of God, we get there and you will see why we are talking about and what is the safety and security on your way to heaven. Let us turn our Bible to the book of John chapter 3, verse 16 to 18. John 3, 16, 18. The Bible reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Verse 17. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Verse 18. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God, which is Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. In this passage, I'm going to touch three words in verse 16, two words in verse 17, another word. Number one word. What is be perished? 16 says, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him, should not perish. Being perish meaning not going to heaven. If you believe, whoever believe in him should not perish, which means if you believe in the Son of God, you won't go to hell. Glory be to God. You will go for sure. You go to heaven. Hallelujah. When you are perished, you won't see heaven. And in word number two, have everlasting life. Having everlasting life, what is it? Yes, you are going to heaven where God is, where the throne of God is. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you have everlasting life. You believe in forever. Even though 
the day you leave this flesh on this earth is a transition. Someone was saying, death is a door to another world, which is with Christ forever, which is heaven. In verse 17, be saved. Saved from what? Saved from punishment of our sins. Hallelujah. Maybe you're going to say, Pastor, uh, I'm doing so good. I'm giving money to those who are in need. I'm giving some money and do grocery. I'm helping orphanages and all that. Yeah, all that you are doing is good, but it does not give you a license to enter in heaven. The license to heaven is Jesus. Glory be to God. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says, For all have sinned, and all fall short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. There is no human being that is perfect. We all sinned. We all sinned, and from the beginning, Adam and Eve, disobedience, sin came in a human being nature. So we are born with a father is a sinner, mama sinner, and a baby sinner. But I have good news. The good news is in the book of Romans 3, 22. Hallelujah. Which he says, but we are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes no matter who we are. Maybe you got your own beliefs. You are believing in a lot of things. You are believing in your way. You are believing in what you believe. I respect people believes. But according to the word of God, and that, that the one me I believe in it, there is a one perfect and correct belief that can lead you to heaven that we are talking about. is believing in the son of God. The one God sent on this earth to save the world. Whoever believes in him is not going to perish, but is got eternal life. Glory be to God. I respect your belief, but let me give you good news today. How long are you going to believe something that does not profit you? You have been believing in what you are believing, but there's no changes. I'm inviting you today. Just believe the correct belief, which is Jesus Christ. You put your faith in him, you trust in him, you receive him. The Bible says, God gives you power to become a child of God. And your heaven is safe, is secured, and you go there for sure. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Brothers and sisters, heaven is real. Hell also is real. Yes, these two are existing. They are there. If the Bible said so, which means it's true. Glory be to God. You are not safe until you believe in the name of the begotten son of God, which is Jesus. I repeat, you are not safe. You are not safe at all. You believe whatever you believe. You are doing good things. You are supporting. You are helping. You are giving your, your, your riches to people. You buy people houses. You buy people. You are doing good. Perfect. I thank God for what are you doing. Doing good is part of a Christian lifestyle. As a Christian, doing good is part of us. But still, not the way for you to go to heaven. What's going to make you to go to heaven? To secure your heaven. The security of your departing to heaven, your going to heaven, is to accept Jesus Christ. Is to believe in him. Hallelujah. That's the one going to take you to heaven. Continue to do the good things that you are doing for people. But the other side, don't forget Jesus. Hallelujah. You bought a house, it's fine. Give it to people, fine. You bought a car. Maybe you are supporting somebody from grade 10 up to university. And you say, because I'm doing good. The day I die, oh, God will never let me down. Uh -uh. My brother, my sister, for you not to be surprised one day, after you finish your time on this earth, for not you find yourself being judged 
go to hell, you better accept Jesus Christ because he's the only one who's got a key to heaven. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You have to accept Jesus Christ because I told you and I said it and I'm repeating it, you are not safe until you believe in the name of the begotten son, which is Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Then in John 6, 14, verse 6, why am I saying you have to believe in Jesus? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one come to the Father except by through me. Jesus was saying that. No one will go to the Father. Where is the Father? Obviously, the Father is in heaven. Nobody can get into heaven to the Father except passing via Jesus. How to pass by Jesus is just to accept him, to receive him as a Savior and Lord. Repent and ask him to be the Lord of your life and he will lead you. He said, I am the way. I am life. Hallelujah. I am the way, the truth, and the life. You come to Jesus, you discover the truth. And that truth, the Bible says, when you know the truth, the truth, will, the truth will set you free. Free from every lies of the devil. Free from every wrong believing before. It's only in Jesus Christ you can have the truth of believing. And even yourself, you will see the different, the changes, the presence of God, the transformation of your life. You see it. Yes, I'm a living testimony. I was like you before. I used to believe here and there. But the day I accepted Jesus Christ, I received him. And the truth came in my life. Light shine in my life. Oh, I came to have my eyes, spiritual eyes open. That I was living, I was believing even though it wasn't the correct way of believing. And Jesus came in my life. He transformed me. And I am where I am today. And I'm still going forward. So shall it be your case today. My brother, you have been trying a lot of things. You have been trying everything. Uh, there are plenty. But I'm asking you to try Jesus. I'm asking you to try Jesus. Believe in Jesus. And you see, you compare before him in your life. And after you give your life to him, you see how your life is going to be. He will give you joy. He will set you free. You know the truth. A lot of blessings of God will be upon you. And above all, your safety and your, 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 your security to go to heaven is guaranteed. Because Jesus is the only him, only way that any man can on this planet earth can via to heaven. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm reading the book of uh, uh, John 3, verse, verse 18. What is the verse 18 says? Verse 18 says, He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of only begotten Son of God, who is, is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, it's, it's very simple and a very clear message. You believe, you are not judged. You are not condemned. You don't believe, you are condemned already. You are judged already. You already put your name under those who they will go to that side. Glory be to God. Because he is only keys. He is only truth. He is only way that you can use to go to the Father in heaven. Glory be to God. Why? Definitely, we have to pass by Jesus. Let's go to the book of John, chapter 5, verse 22 to 24. Why? Maybe you are watching it, you got your own beliefs. You don't believe in Jesus. You heard about him. And you're asking me, why am I insisting that every human being must believe in Jesus before they go to heaven? Let me, let us go to the book of John, chapter 5, verse 22 to 24. For the Father judge not, judge no one. The father judge no one. But he has committed all judgment to the son. Hallelujah. Verse 23. 
that all should honor the son just as they honor the father. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. He who does not honor the son does not honor the father. Which means if you don't recognize Jesus, <laughs> The father won't be able to recognize. I'm sorry, but I have to tell you, that's the word of God. There is many ways people are believing. And in the, in the bottom line, they say they are going to heaven because of their belief. I'm here to announce you, for you not to be surprised at the end of the day, end of the journey. After all this time you have been spending to believe in whatever you are believing without Jesus, not believing in Jesus, the Bible said the father, God is one. There's no two God. The God is one. All of us, you believe in the stone, you invoke God. You believe in the rivers, you invoke God. God is one. But <laughs> unfortunately, there is the only one way. I'm giving you an example. I am in Africa, and I want to go to uh, uh, America. Glory be to God. I want to go to America. You can use many ways to go in America. But the time spending to get there are not the same. It depends on how are you going to get there. Glory be to God. It depends on how you're going to get there. So the best way to get there is to, to use the right flight that goes there. You cannot say, I'm going to America and jumping in the plane that takes you to Asia. You end up get there. He said, I'm in America. I say, no, you are not in America. You're in Asia. And you already finished your air ticket. You have to spend again. It shouldn't be your portion. But get the right flight. Get the right destiny. Get the right visa. And get the right time to get there. Jesus is the right way. Jesus is the right flight. Jesus is the right oh, 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 uh, truth to use to get in heaven and to see the Father. Glory be to God. Verse 24 read, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in he, in he who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. You see? If you accept Jesus Christ, there is a transaction that from one point to another and from death part which is sin to life which is where there is the truth. My brother, my sister, the word of God is so clear. You can read it at your home, at your place. John 5, 22, 24. Jesus received the key of heaven because the Father God is not judging anybody. All the authority. All the judgment, all the sentences, all that is approved or supposed to be approved or not by God, he gave all to Jesus. All the authority belonged to him. All the key of heaven belonged to him. Glory be to God. The Bible is very clear. Verse 22, I read it again. For the Father judged not judged no one, but has committed all judgment to the Son. Glory be to God. 23, that all should honor the Son. You have to honor Jesus so that your salvation, so that your deliverance, so that your going to heaven can be guaranteed and secured and safe for your life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And then we come down here and the Bible reads 24, most assuredly, which means I'm insisting and I'm guaranteeing you, I'm giving you my word. I say to you, he who hears my word, that's Jesus was saying, and he believes in him who sent me, it's everlasting life, shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. Hallelujah. Say, I am alive, and I'll go to heaven, because Jesus is my key. God gave everything to Jesus. Glory be to God. Maybe you are surprised you believe in something else. 
You say, why Christian always, they say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What is different between Jesus and God? Look at the word says correctly. John 5, 24. If you have Jesus, life is guaranteed. You don't have it, I don't know. But please, I'm encouraging you to have Jesus. It's the best way. You never be protected until God comes, becomes your protector. You are, and you will be never be protected until God becomes your protection. Glory be to God. If he has my title, he says, safety and security on your way to heaven. You can never be safe. You can never be safe until you acknowledge God through Christ Jesus. Your heaven is not guaranteed until you accept Jesus Christ. I'm here to tell you that because Jesus is the way. Jesus is God the authority to judge you, to promote you or to demote you. It depends on how will you relate it to him when you are still here. Hallelujah. And it is the right time for you to choose when you are still alive. Hallelujah. And then you can never be protected until God become your protector. And how God can be your protector unless you give your life to Jesus. We still on this teaching says benefit of focusing on God. I'm still under it. The Psalm 9, 9, 91 verse 1, 7, 11, 15, and 16. King David came to realize he came to experience this protection of God upon his life. And he says in his word, Psalm 91, verse 1, and we jump to 7, we jump to 11, and we jump to 15 and 16. I read, verse 1 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of Almighty. We jump, verse 7. A thousand may fall on your side and then thousand, and 10,000 on your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Why? Safety, security, hallelujah, guarantee of your life when you focus on God, when you have Jesus, glory be to God. Verse 15 says, he shall come upon me and then I will answer him. He shall call upon me and then i will answer him i will be with him in trouble i will deliver him and honor him when you are in trouble who do you call the prophet of Baal, and then uh, the prophet of the lord this scenario came when every each believer is supposed to call his god to bring fire down to burn the offering to burn the sacrifice. You know the story. The bad people, they pray from <laughs> eight o'clock until four afternoon, nothing happened. When Elijah turned, came, he invoked God and God showed up. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Until God become your protector, you can never be protected. And there is no any other God that can answer prayer except Jehovah who created everything that answer prayers. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. What I know, God answer prayers when you are, is, you are under his covering. He said, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. He will be with, uh, with him in trouble. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. When you are in trouble, who do you call? When things are tough, who do you call? We are in a, this period of pandemic. It will go. This thing of pandemic, it will go for sure. It's not permanent. There is no any things on this planet Earth that is permanent. It will come and it will go. But now that we are in, who do you call? Where is your source? Who is protecting you? Where is your safety? What is your security? Hallelujah. This is my question. The Bible says, those who abide in him, who use the secret place of Almighty, when they call him, 
in the day of trouble, he respond, he answer us. Hallelujah. Are you able to call your God that you think is greater than my God when you are in trouble? You have to think again and maybe change your mind today and accept Jesus Christ is the one answer prayers. The 16 says, with a long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. God give long life. God protect our life. God is faithful. Glory be to God. He is faithful. And then what he says, he does it. All his promises are yes and amen. My brother, my sister, God that I know, God that we pray, Jesus Christ that is have all the authority is faithful no matter what. How someone can say, call me when you are in trouble, I will answer you. He does not ask you what kind of trouble. He didn't say, call unto me when you know that uh, maybe I can help you and the situation if it's not too tough. No, God did not precise what kind of trouble. As long as you are in this planet Earth, as a believer, you have Jesus Christ. You are born again Christian and you are in trouble. God does not ask you who caused it. He just come and deliver you as he said. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So who do you call? What your God can do for you when there is a trouble? Today, have a trouble, have a problem. And for your relatives, uncle, I have a problem. My car just got involved in an accident and it's right off. I need uh, 350000 to buy a new car. Maybe your uncle is going to say, son, oh, my nephew, sister, this pandemic business had down. I cannot help you. But our God is not like this. He's a specialized of fixing troubles. Hallelujah. He's the one who brings dead people to life. He makes a blind person to see. He makes the lamb to walk. He gives children to a barren woman. Holy Abba Taraba. What kind of God are we serving? Marvelous God. Beautiful God, powerful, great God. In him, there's no point of darkness and doubt. He's a changer of unchangeable situations. Reason why he said, call unto me. The day you have trouble, the day you're in trouble, I will rescue you. Because why? The one I sinned, my son, you believed in him, you accepted him, you put your trust in him, then, Mina, I'll come to you wherever you are, whatever you are having. That shall be your portion, my brother. I'm here to bring you good news. A powerful God, God that in him, there's no doubt. There is no maybe. He specializes in every kind of situation. Even those that doctors have been locked up their life, they say you're going to die in three days' time. You're going to die. Before end of 2021. Hallelujah. Try Jesus. Say God. You said I have to call upon you when I'm in trouble. Yeah, my. My health is not in good time. So I call upon you. The Bible says. A man was sick for 38 years. Jesus. Just ordered him to walk. He got healed instantly. A woman of issue of blood. 12 years looking for a solution. When she met Jesus. The specialist of unchangeable situation by man. He changed it. He make it new. Hallelujah. Above all, a woman 19 years old, she fell pregnant and gave birth. Nine months full, give birth to a bouncing baby boy. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Only God can do that. 19 years old, being pregnant, is up and then out of a human being comprehension and understanding. Even science, they cannot explain what is it. Glory be to God. But uh, our Father, our God, is all God himself. He can do all things. And there is nothing that is impossible with him and difficult with him. And if you believe, as you have faith in him, there is nothing also impossible that you can be in your life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let's go to the book of John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way, 
the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except me. You can never receive anything from God except you accept Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. You may receive it, but if it's not come from God, it won't last. The Bible said the blessing of the Lord make one rich in no sorrow. Once God promotes you, it's for life. Glory be to God. The Bible says it's not a man who should lie. God is not a man. It's not like you and I. It's not like your auntie and my uncle. No. God is different. God is high. God is big. God is great. The size you give God to be in your life, that's the size of blessing that you receive. If you take God as a small boy, you'll be living in life of a small boy star. But if you say God is great, is above all, he will elevate yourself, you, and it show you that indeed it is the way you think it is. Hallelujah. God is good. Glory be to his name. Glory be to his name. Hallelujah. The king, David, said something here in Psalm 8, verse 2. The Bible says, The king David, the servant of the Lord, who spoke to the Lord the word of, his, uh, of this song on the day of the Lord deliver him from the hand of the enemy and from the hand of Saul, he said, The Lord is my rock. And my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my high tower. My stronghold, other translation said, my high tower. Glory be to God. The Bible said the name of the Lord is like a strong, is, is like a, a strong, a strong tower. You, the righteous run unto and receive safety. Hallelujah to the Lord. The truth is, you cannot focus on God if you don't trust him. The book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 says, Trust in the Lord with your whole heart. Glory be to God. Trust in the Lord with your whole heart. The problem we have, we trust God some little point, and what we're expecting does not come, we give up. No, the Bible said, trust the Lord with your whole heart, not a three-quarter, your whole full heart which means your whole life. When the Bible talks about your heart, without a heart, you cannot exist. So your entire life have to trust God. He's the one who made you. He knows what is good for you, and he knows what is not good for you, and he knows you before you know yourself. So trust him as a believer. If you don't believe yet today, listen, or you listen to this message, I'm encouraging you to trust God that we know. We trust God that is above all. God that he created everything. God that is owing everything. And nobody can compare to him. Him alone is God and him alone is the truth. Glory be to God. We have to trust God. When we remain in the Lord, God will, will be our refuge and fortress. Once you remain in God, you don't doubt. You don't go in and out. God become your fortress. Glory be to God. Your security, your safety is guaranteed to heaven. Remain in God. No matter, my brother, my sister, whatever is happening, remain in God. Don't move. Be constantly, be alert, be focused, and believe in any aspect, moment in life. You have to believe in God and be with him, and remain in him. Even you remain in him, he become your fortress. You cannot remain in God if you don't look for him, if you don't open yourself to know him very well. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Irrespective of what is happening around, around us, we can know, we can live and knowing that God is protecting us in every kind of of evil time. Hallelujah. It does not mean that you will not go through some challenges. No. God protection does not uh, 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 mean that when you are a child of God, you got Jesus or, what, or you are high, you are praying, you can't have a challenge. No. Challenges are there. On that, bad things will not happen to you. No. Everything, as long as you are on this earth, anything can happen. Jesus said, in this world, you will have Troubles, you will have tribulation, but be a good cheer. 
and conquer the world. Hallelujah. In me, we shall have peace. In Christ, we can have a problem, even though we are a child of God. But our problems, our situation is handled by him. That is very important. Glory be to God. Hallelujah to the Lord. In John 16, 33, Jesus said, This thing I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. He said, I want you to, 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 to underline this one. He said, <laughs> glory be to God. I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation. In me, peace is there. As long you are in Christ, peace is there. But as long being in Christ in this world, the tribulation of this world, it will always arise against you. But the best word and the sweet one, the good news is, he said, but be a good chair. As long you are in me, be a good chair. I conquer, I overcome, I have overcome the world. I destroy all that will arise against you already at the cross of the Calvary. Bazalari, my brother, thank you so much for listening to me. And I believe that this evening, with this word, you will know and you take a decision to believe in Christ and give your life to Jesus that is the only one who can help you. By focusing on God, you have uh, your guarantee, your safety, and your security on your way to heaven. No Jesus, no heaven. Let me tell you this. Let me cut it short. No Jesus, no heaven. So you better, now that you have the grace to live in this planet Earth, before these two eyes goes off, you better confess, accept Jesus Christ, because God gave him everything. God does not judge you. No. Jesus, you're going to face him face to face. If you don't have him, he won't know you. But if you have him in you, he will know you. Your heaven is open. May the Lord bless you. And may everything that you heard this uh, evening shall bear fruit in you. The word of God is spirit and is life. So if you got it, life is entered in you tonight. May his name be glorified. May his grace be upon you. Maybe you never say yes to Jesus. Let me help you and repeat this prayer after me. Say, dear Jesus, thank you for tonight. I heard your word. I receive it. And then I'm happy. That now I know you are the way, you are the truth, you are the light. And then all the judgments have been given to you by God, your, by our Father. This, this evening, oh, receive me. As our oh Lord, I'm asking you to forgive all my sins and then forgive all my iniquities. Wash me, purify me with your blood and then come into my life. Make my life your life. Change me so that I can be changed. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. If you repeat this prayer, you are saved. You are a child of God. As from tonight, your life will never be the same. May the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen.